Today I'm going to talk about a new part of the financial aid process, the FSA ID. Back in May 2015, the Department of Education made a big change to the way you can access your financial aid and student loan information online. There used to be a PIN number. This four-digit number was used to sign the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA form, as well as to log into certain websites such as studentloans.gov and the National Student Loan Data Systems website. The PIN number was deemed to be an outdated system that needed to, more, to be more secure, thus the creation of the FSA ID. An FSA ID is a username and password that allows you to log into multiple websites and services without inputting personal information such as your social security number every time. The process for setting up an FSA ID takes about 15 minutes, and for the purpose of the FAFSA, the student submitting and one parent will be required to have an FSA ID. To create this ID, you need your social security number, birth date, and full legal name. It's also highly recommended that you link your FSA ID to your email address. Now, you cannot use the same email address for more than one FSA ID, so the student will link their FSA ID to their email and the parent will link their FSA ID to their own email address. Now, an important note regarding email addresses for high school students is that it is a good idea to use an email address other than your high school email. Your FSA ID will be linked to this email address for the rest of your life, and you may not have access to your high school email beyond high school graduation. You will be asked to update your password every 18 months, and the notifications will come to the email address you list when you set up your ID. Now, as part of the setup process, you will also need to create several challenge questions and answers. It is important to select questions that you will remember the answer to. Write everything down and store it in a safe place. If you have a PIN number, you can use it when setting up your FSA ID to expedite the process of confirming your identity with the Social Security Administration. If you don't have a PIN, it will take one to three days to verify. You will be able to use your FSA ID immediately for the FAFSA, but will need to wait for verification before logging into any of the other websites. If you are seeking help with FAFSA completion from the Iowa College Access Network, or if you plan to attend a College Goal Sunday event, it will speed up the process if both the parent and the student have their FSA IDs already set up and completed prior to the FAFSA appointment. You can visit iCanSucceed.org slash FSA ID for instructions on how to set up the FSA ID. If you are trying to set up the ID on your own and you need help, you can call 877-272-4692 and speak with an ICANN Student Success Advisor. ICANN has student success centers in Ankeny, Cedar Rapids, Coralville, Council Bluffs, Davenport, Des Moines, Ottumwa, and Waterloo. Call us to set up your free FAFSA completion appointment.